What is up guys, this is Harp with Harp's Corner and today's for taming video we're going to talk about taming the Ferox. The Ferox is a new creature from the Genesis Part 1. Looks kind of cute and cuddly, right? Sits on your shoulders as I'm sure you all are aware and it also does some crazy other things too. So you're going to find these guys in the Arctic biome, obviously. They're going to be tricky to find. Um, usually in the frost area, more towards the southern edge of the map where it's constant that constant blizzards going visibility cuts down it's really hard to see the problem with this area is not only the visibility but you also get a lot of predatory creatures things like utyrannus and wolves argentavis are constantly around the place it makes the ferox not only hard to see but hard to find because they're easily picked off and killed what i've used and again um, this is what works best for me i used a tech helmet so a tech helmet with a little bit of element i'm able to toggle through the vision and I can uh, see the highlighted creatures around me and I can tell where the Ferox's is and also where the dangers may lie as well. This is sort of a tricky tame but what works best for me and what has worked so far. When you find these guys wandering around and they'll just kind of be hopping around sort of like Jerboas do on Scorched Earth or on Ragnarok that just kind of hop around and do their own thing. You need element to tame them have to have element when you not element shards element dust but actual element when you tame them that's mandatory you can kind of create this how you choose to but the first part of it is kind of crucial if you have flyer carry enabled on your server obviously you can just pick one of these guys up and drop them in a taming pen like you normally would if you don't which is standard on official like the official style you can't have flyers carrying stuff around you need to try to lure it into some sort of taming box now the problem with that is it's hard to get you to follow it. How are you going to get it to follow it? You, where do you build a pen at? You start to build a pen around it and it moves. Nah, we ain't doing all of that. All you need is a tent. A tent from Scorched Earth. That's it. You just need a tent. Drop the tent around the Ferox right on top of them so that it can't go anywhere. Now, once the tent is on top of the Ferox, then we can start to build the enclosure around it. We know the Ferox can't move because he's stuck inside the tent. And when we're ready to start taming the Ferox, we simply pick the tent up. Now what I did is I did foundations, a box kind of around the tent and then built up with window walls so that I could see inside what's going on. This is important for later on. What I messed up here is I should have put ceilings above to cap it off so that the Ferox couldn't actually jump out. Um, it's kind of important to do that regardless of how high you make it. I think, well, if, if I made it maybe five or six walls high, I probably wouldn't have mattered or if I trapped it in dino gates, it probably would have been okay. Uh, but it kind of glitched up and over, and if I had ceilings there, I probably wouldn't have this problem that you're going to see later on. Anyway, the method's still the same. So what I did is I created, now I have this enclosure created. I hotkey some element, and I go down and take up the tent. As soon as I get close to it, I have the option to use element. Now, as soon as I do that, you'll see a little animation where he's starting to gather something and starting to eat something. I tail it out of there. Now, while he's in that monstrous form, he's going to be in crazy aggressive. He's going to come after you. He's going to come after any animals nearby. You could potentially get him killed too. So this is keeping him in one place so that we can continue the taming process. But also, this is also just for keeping him safe as well. So he'll do this for a little while. Then he'll get tired out. And he'll shrink back down to a little guy again. And then we can go back in and repeat this process. We have to keep repeating this process and eventually doing this over and over again. And as you can see, he's on the outside this time <laughs> because he hopped out on the last, the last taming interval. He hopped out. Thankfully, there were some uh, other animals nearby that apparently he was more concerned with. But he passed out and then he came to and now he's ours. Once these guys are tamed, they'll sit on your little shoulders just like this one is. They do provide some extra hypo and hyperthermal insulation, so having them on your shoulder already is a good idea, uh, just in general. Now these guys have an addiction meter and an element required. The element requires how much element you're going to have to feed this thing to get it to transform into the bigger version. Right, key one, you feed him one. And when he's ready, you feed him again. And then he's going to hulk out on us here. Now... Ours. Big guy. Big, nasty teefer. Look at the teeth. All right, when you mount up on these guys, you're going to see two bars down at the bottom above your hockey slots. The one bar is the lifetime of how long the creature's going to stay in the bigger form. It's going to slowly start to trick down. The second bar is the addiction meter. The addiction meter matters for a couple of things. 
The addiction meter matters because as you progressively feed this guy element to keep getting him big and keeping him big, it will start to max out and require more element to actually change into the larger version. Now, once that is maxed out at 100%, it's going to require even more element to actually transform from the smaller form to the bigger form. However, if you do have it at 100%, you can leave it in its small form for a significant amount of time and that addiction meter will slowly trickle away. So the benefits to these guys, they're super fast and agile. Um, their jumping exponentially gets better as you use it over and over again. So as you land, if you jump again, the jumps considerably stack up and you'll gain more distance, more height, and it enables you to traverse long distances fairly easy, which kind of counteracts the fact that you don't have flyers unless you have that server setting enabled. But this guy covers a lot of ground very quickly. The other thing that it's known for is the ability to throw rocks, much like the Calicotherium in that case, it can actually pick up boulders and chuck them around. You have two different attacks. You have your primary slash attack that you can use while running that has an incredible knockback ability. You also have it like an AOE two-handed smash attack, which kind of hits the damage around it, but that one can't be used while you're sprinting. It doesn't stop there. The Ferox also has the ability to climb walls. It can continue to jump off the wall, much like the Thalicolio, and actually jump sideways up and down, and can actually throw boulders while it's jumping up and down. Another important note, these guys don't take any fall damage either, so don't worry about falling those long distances down. Ferox's can also breed as well, which you do want to pay attention to is it seems to be, at least with my experience thus far, is they need to be in the aggressive form, the bigger form, and they need to have the addiction maxed out on them to, to actually have the ability to mate them, but you can mate them like normal. All in all, the Ferox is very versatile, very useful, I think. Uh, the stats are very decent on it. Um, I think, really, if you're looking for level up stats, you're probably going to be looking for some health, melee, and maybe carry weight. It's very good on stamina, so you really don't need to worry too much about that stat. Uh, it, it doesn't go through stamina very quickly at all. As the trickle bar goes all the way down, it'll turn back into its small form, and we can pick him right back up on our shoulders again. But that's it guys, that's the Ferox, that's how you tame the Ferox and what the Ferox would be used for regularly. Um, if you found this video helpful, please throw me a like, subscribe, uh, maybe leave a comment on the channel, let me know what you guys think. On a whole, I really like the animal, I think it's a really interesting, t interesting tame. I think most of the Genesis part 1 so far, the, these unique animals have been really interesting to mess with, they all have some really cool abilities. But yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. Feel free to follow me here. Follow me on Twitter and also on Twitch. We Twitch live stream Friday nights and Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time and sometimes periodically, especially with the world and the state that it is, it's in right now, uh, we do some sporadic uh, streaming as well. So definitely check Twitter for that. I'll try to announce that if we're going to do a uh, impromptu stream. But that's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time.